Hi, welcome aboard Legacy 500. It and Legacy 450 are the launch platforms for the new Collins HGS 3500 HUD. Tonight, Eduardo Camillier and Luis Salvado and I are going to take you flying in the airplane so you can see what it'll do. HGS 3500 is one part of the Ember Air Enhanced Vision System, or E2VS for short. The compact head-up display has no overhead projector, so it will fit into much smaller cockpits, including Legacy 450 and 500. This is what it looks like from the left seat. The other part of E2VS is the new Collins Triple Band EVS Image Sensor. It combines an ultra-sensitive low-light video cam a shortwave infrared camera that detects radiation from hot sources, such as incandescent lights and engine exhausts, and a long-wave infrared sensor that detects the thermal differences between pavement, paint stripes, soil, and vegetation. Tonight, we'll fly from Member Air's flight test facility at Gavion Pusciotto to its headquarters at San Jose dos Campos, about 165 miles to the southeast. Oh, do I love HUDs. There are the takeoff V-speeds, clearly posted on the airspeed tape. Off we go. Airspeed is alive. V1, rotate. V2. Positive rate, gear up. Four hundred feet, speed checks, flaps up, after takeoff checks. Our initial assigned altitude is fifty five hundred feet. Cleared to climb to flight level one seven zero. We'll use flight level change. The auto throttles will hold two hundred and fifty knots. Take a look at that large light dot low into the left of the nose. The EVS shortwave IR sensor is detecting a farmer's fire in an old sugarcane field. That's a lot more heat than what's produced by incandescent runway lights, so it appears as a very bright bloom. Over the altitude tape, moving from right to left on the horizon, do you see the strobes of that approaching aircraft? The low-light video cam can detect xenon strobes, LEDs, nav lights, and other visible spectrum light sources that human eyes may not see at all. Now what's this? Notice how the EVS goes blind for half a second. That's a normal build-in calibration check that happens several times during the flight, but it's inhibited during approach when you most need uninterrupted EVS operation. Look above the horizon. You see those little dots of light? Those are stars that are barely visible to us in the cockpit. We're now northeast of San Jose, approaching the airport. We'll select flaps 1 and slow to 160 knots. Flaps 2 and we'll set 140 knots as the target speed and turn base leg for runway 15. Oops, there's a little delay vector, so we'll head downwind to the northwest and slow 130 knots. Okay, we're clear to turn to 185 to intercept the ILS localizer. Inbound course is 155. Gear down. Flaps full. Ref is 114 knots. We're high because of the close-in vector. We'll correct until the runway threshold appears 3 degrees low on the HUD combiner glass. It's fairly clear tonight. Probably not ideal weather conditions to show us the full capabilities of E2VS, but the HUD surely makes it easy to fly the ILS with precision and smoothness. There, the Vassy lights are aligned with the three degree nose down pitch reference. A little flare and touchdown. Well, thanks for flying with us tonight. Look for a full technical report in an upcoming issue of Business and Commercial Aviation Magazine.